I want to talk about what Jesus said to the Samaritan woman that came to him begging that he would cast the unclean spirit out of his out of her daughter because the it, you know I think it's just kind of passed over when Jesus said to her that it's not fitting to give the children's bread unto the dogs Matthew chapter 15 Starting in verse 26. Um, let's see. And I was wrong, it was a woman of Canaan. It says Jesus went thence because uh, he was talking about for out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornication, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands doesn't defile a man. Then Jesus went from left from there and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon and beholding a, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him saying have mercy on me Lord son of David my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil but he answered her not a word and the disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet or right to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs and the, the Greek word there actually means little puppies it's not like what he said in another place when he says do not give that which is holy unto the dogs don't cast your pearl before swine lest turning they rend you and trample you underfoot here he's talking about the little puppies and she said truth Lord Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. I mean, you first of all, I mean, look at the humble attitude in which she came to him, not arrogance, demanding. I mean, you really need to understand that because God resists the proud and gives his favor to the humble. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs for the puppies eat from the eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said unto her, O woman, great is your faith. Be it unto you even as you will. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. And what I want to focus on is what he said in verse 26. It is not right to take the children's bread, the children's food, and cast it to the dogs. Because this, he, this is what is feeding God's children. These miracles, these signs that he said in Mark, he says, these signs shall follow them that believe. You know, they shall speak in new tongues. They shall cast out devils. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. If then if they shall drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. I mean, we got to see that the, the gifts of the Spirit, as he, after he was 
baptized by John the Baptist. Coming up out of the water immediately, he prayed. And when he did, the heavens were opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in the form of a dove and remained upon him. This was a testimony given by Jehovah our God saying, on whom you see the Spirit descending upon and remaining, this is the Christ. And this was a testimony given by John to the Jews that this is the Christ, the Son of God. And they received not his testimony. And you got to see that it, after that, the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness where he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. He didn't, he didn't drink any water and he didn't eat any food. And you got to see that parallel because when, when Moses went up on the mount with the tablets, he was so gone, long gone, so long that the children of Israel told Aaron, he said, make us gods that shall go before us for this Moses that brought us up out of the land of Egypt. We don't know what's become of him. And that's when they made the idol, the, the golden calf. And the second time Moses, because when he, Moses came down and he, and he broke the tablets that the scripture says was a work of God, the handwriting of the Lord. The second time he went up on the mountain, it says that he was there 40 days and 40 nights where he received these commandments. But the second time Moses wrote the things on the tablets. And we got to see that, that parallel because when Jehovah said in Deuteronomy 18 that I shall raise up another prophet like unto you from amongst their brethren. Him shall they hear and all that he shall speak. For I, he shall speak all that I command him to say, for I will put my words in his mouth. And when he, when he came out of the desert after being tempted of the devil for 40 days and 40 nights, it says straightway he came into his own re regions in, the, in Judea and began to preach and say the kingdom of God is near. And he was healing the sick, giving sight to the blind. And when John had sent for him after he was cast in prison because he's, he said, he must increase, but I must decrease. And it was after that Jesus was baptized and received the Holy Spirit, John was cast into prison by Herod and was beheaded. And we got to see that John sent to him, he said, are you here? Shall, shall we look for another? He sent some of his disciples with him after him. And Jesus said, go tell John both what you see and what you hear. The deaf are given, are able to hear, and the, those that are blind are able to see, and the gospel is proclaimed to the poor, and the lame walk. You, you got to see that he came proclaiming the gospel, and our food, our food, Food. Jesus, Jesus said it when she came desiring for her daughter to be delivered from the devil that vexed her daughter. He said, it is not right for me to give the children's food unto the puppies. And that's what I want to really focus on because that is our food those are the things that feed us and strengthen our faith I mean, we really need to understand that and I'm going to keep it short because it is so, this is just important for us to see that those things are our food and you know you got the, the gifts of the Spirit aren't functioning in the body to, to feed and to cause growth. 
and it is important for those things to function in the body. As Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13, don't despise prophesying and don't forbid to speak in tongues. You know, those, those things are what we need to function in as babes in Christ to come into full age. As the writer of Hebrews talked about in, in chapter 5, when he was talking about in verse 11, you know, talk, talking about Jesus as our high priest after the order of Melchizedek and not after the order of Aaron and having so many things to say. He wanted to say to them concerning that, but hard to be put into words seeing they become dull of hearing, unwilling to listen or hard-hearted. He says, for... Owing because of time you ought to be teachers, he says, Someone you have need that someone teach you again, which be the chief principles or the first principles of the sayings of God, and are in need of milk and not solid food, for solid food belongs to those who are of full age. He says, For he who partakes of milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. He says, for solid food belongs to those who are of full age who by reason of use have exercised and trained their senses to discern between good and evil. And Paul talks about that in 1 Corinthians 13. You know, that when that which is in part, when that which, which, when that which is a full age has come, because that's the meaning of that Greek word translated perfect, when that which is perfect has come, when that which is a full age has come, it's the same Greek word, same context as that used in Hebrews 5.14, but solid food belongs to those who are a full age. And as he says in Roman or Hebrews 6.1, you know, moving on then, from the elementary teachings of Christ, let us move on from the elementary teachings of Christ and be carried on under perfection, under full age, not laying a foundation again of repentance from dead works and a faith towards God, of the teachings of baptisms and of the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment and these things shall we do if God permit you know so we need to understand the food the 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 miracles the signs the wonders these things the healings these things are the food the edification the building up of the body of Christ you know and we really need to understand that. Amen.